Hello everybody and welcome back to our Miami Dolphins franchise. Before we get the season officially started in 2017, we're going to go over the schedule in case you missed it, transactions because the Dolphins have made moves over the preseason, cover the injuries, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead, let's get started with the schedule. We start off week one, interstate rivalry. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then we travel out west to take on the LA Chargers. Then it's the Jets for our first division game of the year, week three. Saints, Titans, Falcons. Jets again to finish off that series. Ravens, Raiders, Panthers. Then our bye week is week 11. We come back, it's not easy. Patriots, Broncos, Patriots. Finish off with New England. And then the Bills, Chiefs, Bills, and we finish off with the Bills. The second half of our schedule, I don't see us winning more than two games. I'm going to say we lose to the Patriots, Broncos, Patriots again, and then the Chiefs. And maybe one time against the Bills, that's undetermined. I see us losing to the Panthers, the Raiders, the Falcons, the Saints, the Titans, and the Bucks. I'm looking at a three to four win season. However, anything can happen. But with all the injuries, it's going to be tough. Speaking of injuries, let's go ahead and check out the Dolphins IR. I warn you, what you're about to see is graphic. Seven injuries plague the Dolphins. Obviously, the key one, Ryan Tannehill, the guy uh, we've all been asking about. Why Jay Cutler came back out of retirement for. Complete ACL tear 42 weeks for Tannehill. He will be, when his injury is fully healed, 31 years old. Now that's not good because if we need a quarterback, because we're not sitting on Matt Moore or Jay Cutler or a third string David Fails, we're not sitting on them for a while. We're going to have to pick up a quarterback in this year's draft if things don't go right. Otherwise, we have Raquan McMillan, our 20-year-old left outside linebacker, out 38 weeks of the complete ACL tear. Koa Missy, a backup left outside linebacker, ACL tear, 38 weeks. Three people complete ACL tears. Come up here to Tony Lippett, our cornerback, 25 years old. Uh, zone corner, 42 weeks, Achilles tear. Then we get into the more recent ones. Ted Larson, torn tricep, 11 weeks. Lemon, or Lemon, sorry, Barrow, broken ankle, 8 weeks. And then the most recent one, Damian Williams, our second string halfback behind Jay Jai, fractured his foot in week 4 of the preseason. 5 weeks, we'll have to rely on Jay Jai the most. That's the IR. That's the schedule. Let's go take a look at transactions and what the Dolphins have done. So if we scroll down here to Miami, you can see that we started in preseason week one. Well, actually, preseason week four we started. Um, we traded to the 49ers, Walt Aikens, for Ray Ray Armstrong to upgrade that linebacking core, right outside linebacker. He should be our starter unless anything funky happens. We signed Brandon Doughty to the practice squad as well as along with Devin Young Smith. DeMaurier Stringfellow, I really like him as a receiver. I feel like he can help us future down the road. Maybe if we don't have some of the key other guys in the wide receiving area. We released Centerize Perry. We released Mitch Matthews. We signed Jakeem Grant to the practice squad. We signed Rashawn Scott to the practice squad. We sent about 10 guys to the practice squad. We had to cut overall 17 people. It wasn't easy. We released John Denny. We released Chris Pantel. We sent Thomas Durante to the practice squad. Released Trey Jackson. Released Ultron Werner, released Lafayette Pitts, released Jordan Lucas, Storm Johnson, 
Lawrence Okoye. We signed Zach Lyon. We did not have a fullback. We were using our third string tight end. I did not like that, so we signed a fullback. And Zach Lyon, 27 years old, to a one-year, $1.02 million contract. We released Bobby McCain. Executive decisions happened in Miami. We signed Hassan Ridgeway to the practice squad, Morgan Fox, Cody Core, and Howard Wilson. So, a lot of moves were made. Four trades were made. Uh, let's see if we can actually get those back really quick. We made one trade, or if not a signee, every week of the preseason. And yeah, we only made one trade. We signed three people. Otherwise, but guys, week one hasn't started in the NFL for the Dolphins. And already, we're missing our backup halfback. We have six other guys. Injury. Four of them will not play this year. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but it's a challenge. I love challenges, and it should be a lot of fun with the Dolphins this year. Thank you guys for watching. Next time out, you'll see the interstate rivalry, Bucks dolphins No Jaguars here. They're not allowed. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you later.